Oh my god, I'm, I'm murder is gonna happen today. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we are near Anna Maria Island at the Palma Sola boat ramp. And we've got some brand new equipment that we're gonna test out today. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun, so let's go. Let's go. All right guys, so like Louis said, uh, we are here at the boat ramp. The skis are already launched. Uh, we are gonna grab a couple things and then we're going to hop on the skis. Um, I'll let him tell you where we're going for our next big adventure, or maybe just, you know, Subscribe and stick, stick, stick tuned because we uh, stick, tuned. stick tuned. So we have a really exciting trip coming up next week. So we're gonna practice with some of our new stuff. So first we're gonna figure out how we're going to load all these things and get them onto the skis uh, without killing each other. So let's go uh, do that, no? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I wanna know, what kind of uh, boating are you doing with this thing, bro? I mean, what's going on here? That's reserved for the most extreme boaters. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got a big adventure next weekend. We're actually going down to the Florida Keys and we're going to check out Alligator Reef. Now, in order to get there, that is about five miles offshore, so we do need some different equipment than what we normally use. And we want to have a little bit of extra fun while we're there. So, with that in mind, here are the things that we're going to test out today. First of all, we got gas. These are the five gallon, uh, what do they call these? VP racing jugs. We have used these before, obviously, but we've never actually strapped them to the jet skis because we've never gone far enough that we needed the extra gas. So, we got 10 gallons of gas. We're going to figure out how to get that strapped to the jet skis. We've got our snorkeling equipment, fins, snorkel, that sort of thing, and also a uh, pretty neat floating dive flag. Mm -hmm. So we'll be deploying that. Yep. The coolest of all, we've got these brand new Yamaha 500 Li sea scooters. These are like the professional brand ones, and we're going to use these to sea scoot all around the uh, Florida Keys next week. So that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Tested these out in the pool already. <laughs> they are pretty sweet. So definitely looking forward to getting, you know, getting these things out in the wild mm -hmm. and checking them out where we get some crystal clear water. Yeah. Uh, most importantly though, what we have in the jet skis I don't have sitting right here is we've got some uh, brand new deep water anchors. That's a new skill set that neither Christine or I have ever had to use before. Uh, so that's the biggest thing that we want to test out today. We want to make sure that all of this equipment fits on our jet skis. And we also want to make sure that we know how to properly anchor our jet skis. Now we watched some other YouTube videos, uh, done some research. I think we got it figured out, but we definitely want to practice before we get out there at Alligator Reef where it's about 20 feet deep and we won't be able to use our normal sand anchors. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and try to get some of this loaded up onto the jet skis. Going to give you a quick montage of that. And then we'll cut to uh, us testing those, those anchors out. So let's go. And uh, full disclosure, I didn't watch any videos. I watched a Lewis and he's gonna be uh, my instructor for the day. So uh, if I sink, no, it's all on him, not on me. I will say though, like Lewis is fantastic when it comes to ensuring that like I have everything that I need. I I think I might have anchored myself one time. The rest of the time, Lewis does it. But apparently this is the time I have to learn because yeah. where we're going in the Keys, I have to do it myself. Yeah, that's normally with the sand anchors even. Those, yeah. are, those ones are pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, with these deep water anchors, I just I won't be on the same jet ski as her, so I can't do it for her. So she's got to figure it out on her own. And that's why we're going to go over today. We're going to practice several times. Practice yeah. makes perfect. Very excited about all this. I think we've got a good range of conditions here, too. We're going to try it once here on the beach. Mm -hmm. It's a dry run. Yep. Uh, then we got this nice little bay here. We're super calm. We're going to try it out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to move on. I don't know if we're going to do the sandbar or not, but the eventual, the final test, Pass your finals. We got to do it out in the Gulf with the current. <laughs> do, do I get like a college degree for this or something? I mean, seriously, like like. I'll print you a certificate. Okay, all right, A plus. Our badge badges are the new thing. No, oh, okay. We're yeah. getting badges now. Yeah, gamification. All you right. No, need no stinking badges. <laughs> all right, let's get going. All right, guys. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna attach our ten gallons of gas. Uh, it does seem like it fits a little bit better on the newer style jet skis than in Christine's older style. Uh, hers has that like weird hump and everything, so. I was originally planning on putting five gallons on each, uh, but because it was so difficult to get hers on there, testing this out in the garage, I think it fits best to put all 10 gallons of mine. So that's what we're gonna do. We got some uh, ratchet straps here. Uh, that I don't care if they get some saltwater corrosion on these uh, cheap ratchet straps I don't really like anyways. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing strapped down. All right. And three, two, one. All right, so we got the gas on there. It's secure. Uh, and before you comment, uh, you know, obviously I know that these aren't made for attaching to but we actually have it the ends are on the link system yeah so. it's anchored yeah so that's all good next up we've got the sea scooter 
Uh, so in order to keep uh, from scratching up the seat, I got this bath mat here. It's kind of a foam bath mat. It's got like a non-slip end. I realize this thing's gonna get soaked, uh, but I think it's, it's a good option. It's perfect size. Yeah, for five bucks, give you that. Yeah, so for that, we'll put the seat scooter up on top of there. And then in order to strap this down, I've got these cool things. These are these mesh bungee nets. Mm -hmm. They sell for like motorcycles. Yep. You know, so for your saddlebags and stuff. So perfect, same sort of thing. Uh, and this one, we are gonna strap it to the seat. Yep. And then also, we're gonna slide in the uh, scuba gear next to it. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan. All right, cool. All right, and there we go. It's the final product. This is gonna be our keys setup. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's on there. I think it wobbles a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna fall off. I uh, got the, the snorkeling equipment on the other side, 10 gallons of gas. Definitely a bit different than what we normally do, but I think we're all yeah. set. We're gonna test this out, make sure it rides right, make sure we don't have any problems with anything being unsecured. Yep. So that's another point of today. And then uh, we'll move on to testing our anchors. So next up, I just gotta get Christine secured. She's got the same sort of setup here on the back, mm -hmm. no gas on hers. Mm -hmm. but we'll get that taken care of now. Yep. All right, so we got Christine strapped on. So now we're gonna go test out the anchors. So full disclosure, this is the part of the trip that I'm most nervous about. Uh, not worried about any of the animals, not worried about uh, being in the water for an extended period of time. Uh, for me, it's the anchors. Um, Lewis was telling me there's like a mathematical equation for how much line you need depending upon how much, like, the depth of the water and based upon how far away your boat has to be, based upon the direction of the water, so the wind, the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, so this should be a good time. So, say a prayer. <laughs> this is literally a tote bag that we had uh, given some guests. We had a couple extra ones when we had our housewarming party. And uh, yeah, they uh, come in handy so far. All right, guys, so here are, here's our anchor setup. So we got an eight pound fluted anchor. It's PVC vital coated. It has the slip ring mm -hmm. for easy retrieval. Attached to that, I've got five feet PVC coated um, anchor chain. And attached to that, we've got 150 feet of anchor line. I've also taken the time to go ahead and mark out different increments on the line. So the idea is when you anchor out in deep water, you're supposed to have five or one to five or one to seven ratio somewhere in between there of uh, line for every foot that you go down. So that means that out in Alligator Reef, the average depth is about 20 feet. So we need somewhere between 100 to 150 feet of line. So I got 150 feet of line here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to just test out this anchor's holding ability just here on dry land. So we're gonna we're just gonna throw it out here while, and see what happens. Well, here in in the shallow water, in ankle deep water, like I literally can see your little toesies right now. Yeah, and then we're gonna give it a pull and mm -hmm. just see how it digs itself into the sand. All right, uh, so you're gonna have to yell like weigh anchor or something because isn't that what they say like on the pirate ships? Weigh weigh the anchor. Yeah. How much does it weigh? I don't know. There's gonna give it a little tossy toss. There's gonna give it a little toss here to see how it goes. Okay. So yeah, so we are super professional, and y'all, we are totally professionals at this. Definitely, 100% right, professionals. Check it out. Okay. You see it's already just a little bit of pool. It's already dug itself deep into the sand. Though. Okay. Yeah. And so, I think that we probably need a little bit more depth. Yeah. Okay. Let's try again. Try. But 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 I get the. Oh, like, okay. From like this ankle, this okay. angle here. Yeah. It's kind of digging. Okay. Digging, digging itself, itself deeper. Okay. So now we're kind of getting a little shallow. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So that's that's the concept of how it works. Yeah, okay. and then when you go to retrieve it, right, with the slip anchor, it should mm -hmm. slide itself back up here, and you pick it straight up. Hmm. All right, so take take three. So may, maybe they give it a second to like settle, and then start reeling it in. And do well, you think that's 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 the way to go? We're ideally we're going to drop it straight down, and so that way, then we'll know based off our off of our markings. Mm -hmm how deep it is and then we'll know how much line to let out. Okay. I feel like it, I feel like it's holding pretty good now. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think part of it is that, you know, having that extra line here, you know, when I was first trying there on the beach the first couple times, it was pretty close to it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, definitely with that extra line, that gives that, that chain time, mm -hmm. that gives that chain uh, area to lay down straight. And that chain, you know, the big part of it, 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 the point of it is to help add extra weight to the front of the anchor to help dig it in. Okay. So you really don't want to be lifting the chain up off the sea floor. So from this distance, I mean, it feels pretty, pretty taut there. Give it a good heave ho. I think if I yank it pretty hard, I think it would come out. Uh -huh. um, but like I said, remember, it, it's only holding the jet ski in the in the current. Okay, but aren't you the current though? Aren't you the jet ski? Aren't you the current? Yeah, but how how much force is that really? I don't know. 
I, math. I don't know. Hopefully this is not like a foreshadowing of us losing a jet ski in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's see. <laughs> well, that's why we're anchoring them separately, too. Yeah. So in case one does break loose, we can chase down the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Okay. All right, cool. So I'm just going to pick it up and mull it in. Well, you said to pick it up, you basically just stand over top of it and just lift it straight out. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so if you really pull on it, it's going to start dragging. I hardly pulled that. You pulled it too hard. I hardly pulled it. You pulled it too hard. <laughs> I, I can see it. Well, now you can because you got it too shallow. I'm just, I'm, I'm just nervous. I don't know if I trust it. I just want to lose your desk. Okay, okay, okay. Honey, I hardly tugged it. Well, no, you pulled on it pretty hard. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be that much. And also, too, it's going to be at the bottom of 20 feet of water, not two feet of water. So the next part of our master plan. I feel like pinky in the freaking brain out here right now. Yeah. Oh, we're figuring it out. Yeah. Next part of our master plan is we need to attach this to the to the carabiner bungee line that's going to be on the front of our jet skis. Yeah. So in order to do that, um, the plan is fold the rope in half. Mm -hmm. uh, give it, I don't know what they call this. Uh, that's like a half hitch, but I don't know if it's like a double half hitch because you got two of them. Mm -hmm. And then that should give you a little hook there. And I think for a little added security, I'm going to do a second one just to make sure that that line doesn't come out from behind it. Okay. So that's my plan is two half hitches like that. Gives you a nice little loop. We're going to hook okay. that to the carabiner that's going to be on the front of our jet skis. Okay. So with this, we do have these really cute buoys that will help. Oh, we got one. The other one exploded. Um, so yeah, so that, that's, that's our buoy so I can, so I know where it is. Yep. Um, and then yeah so then what's next here is how we're going to attach the line anchor to our ski yeah, so this is our standard bungee that we use it's a four foot bungee yep i uh, would like to have a little longer one but and i think in this case you know for right now we're just going to use two of them mm -hmm. strapped together so it's going to loop that along amongst itself okay like so then we're going to take our other bungee this is the one with the carabiner on the end mm -hmm. And loop that through itself there. Mm -hmm. So now what we have is an eight foot bungee line yep. with a carabiner on the end. Yep. Uh, and so what we want to do is actually, when we get down to the keys, we're going to attach this at the boat ramp. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way, so we're going to attach this at the boat ramp so that way uh, we don't have to get in the water when we get to where we're going. Yep. And then the plan on that too is that we should be able to just lift it up and throw the whole thing here mm -hmm. into the front. Yep. It'll close on itself. Clamp down on itself. It should fit in there. Yep. So then that way. The... Yeah. So then that way we're not having to jump off on the jet ski, swim around the front of it, attach it, and then throw the anchor. So it'd be like that. Yep. So we'll actually jet ski out to alligator reef with this already attached. So yep. Hold on like that. All right. So then the plan for this. All right. We got the buoy. We're gonna attach that to our to our carabiner. Mm-hmm. And then we'll attach our anchor line. Using that rope, yeah, that carabiner here, that hitch knot that you used, yeah. And then also too, Christine came up with a good idea. Something I didn't see anywhere else, uh, but we're gonna have a run a second sub, a smaller line to the jet ski as well mm -hmm. for easier retrieval. Yeah, because I'm short and I'm not about to try to fall in this uh, giant ocean <laughs> trying to retrieve this anchor line. All right. So in this case here, just got a. Um, I think I cut this to about 15 feet. Yeah got a carabiner on the one end mm -hmm. I've already tied the, the two uh, double half hitches in there mm -hmm. so again we get the same loop all right so then uh, like I said also the anchor will be attached here and then we'll also attach this mm -hmm. to the carabiner as well yeah and then that'll give us this other end here with the carabiner mm -hmm. say like maybe just around the yeah around the handlebars here yeah way when we go back when we get get back on the jet ski you have a way to yeah. Pulling the anchor line to get back to that, that carabiner. Yep. Because everything's going to be attached here. Yep. So, cool. That's the setup. Yeah. So, I think next is uh, we're going to try it out here in this little shallow bay. Water's pretty calm out here. So yeah. It'll be our first water test. All right. Let's go. All right. And then, when it comes to retrieval, what we're going to do is, like, so we're going to get that extra line, we're going to pull that up, uh -huh. disconnect the carabiner, and start rolling this up on our arm here. Uh -huh. The idea is 
if the sand anchor, if the anchor is straight in front of us, we're going to put the jet ski in forward gear, just slow forward gear, uh -huh. and kind of roll at about a 45 degree angle, sort of, you know, away from the, the jet ski. And then what that should do is it should send us on a path, kind of around, and then out back over top of the anchor. And then when we're directly over top of the anchor, we'll pull straight up. So as we're going at that 45 degree angle, you know, like I said, just in slow forward gear, mm -hmm. we're gonna be wrapping it up as well. All the while trying to not run over said line because we don't want to suck it into the uh, impeller. So yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not nervous at all. No, we're good. We're good. All right, now we are going to reset, stuff on the skis, and uh, yeah, go live. Alright guys, so we just stopped in this little bay that's is near the boat ramp where we put in. We kind of just went out and was trying everything out, just checking to see how everything holds up back there and everything held up fantastic. Um, surprisingly, this little uh, you know, bungee strap here is pretty good. Nothing really moved at all. The gas can stayed in place. We were, we were out in the Gulf and it's actually a fairly rough day today. So there was a couple, uh, you know, a lot a lot of waves out there you know definitely rolling over white caps all over the place it's a pretty rough day out there um but all this held up really well so and i had no problems driving with it i uh, does i do definitely feel the extra weight in the back though uh and i've noticed a couple times i'm getting a little bit of extra water in my foot wells as a result so i just got to kind of make sure that they stay clean um you know especially if i'm out there in a lot of with a lot of waves and stuff and then with that with all that on there and me on it you know i'm a heavier guy too so uh definitely not at the weight limit of the ski the ski 600 pounds as you can load it up but just something to kind of think about i think it's a lot of weight kind of towards the back which is kind of sits lowest on the ski anyways so if you're at a weird angle and the water's coming over the the stern uh you're going to get a little more weight a little more water in the footwell so here in this little bay this is going to be our first test i'm not sure how deep the water is here I can't see the bottom. It was pretty shallow over there. I'm guessing that this is probably going to be about eight or nine feet deep. That would be my guess. So I'm kind of drifting with the current and the wind already in this direction while I was setting up. So I'm going to turn the ski on and head that way a little bit. And then we'll get set up here with the anchors and the Christine's going to film me from the side. So let's go. All right. So got our anchor. Let me go ahead and just make sure that this line is free. All right. Here we go. There it goes. About eight or nine feet. Uh, okay. So now the anchor is down there at the bottom. I'm just going to let just going to let some line out until, until we get to about five to seven times that. So eight times five is 40. Yeah. So about 50 feet. We'll go a little bit farther because it's kind of shallow. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably go about 60 or 70 feet maybe. Oh, okay. So now I'm drifting away from the anchor. The anchor's over there. And you're just gonna let the current push you? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll follow up with you when uh, that yeah. happens. And so my colors are a little different. I use white for my 10, 10 foot mark. And then... Uh, okay, now I'm, uh, now I'm getting too close to you. Yeah. All right, hang on. There goes my 50 foot marker. Yeah, there goes 60. So here's 70 feet. All right, so I'm gonna give it a tug here. I mean, it feels pretty secure. Yeah, if I start pulling it, I start heading that direction. We're gonna do our double half half hitch. She's doing a double half hitch. 
fish here. There's not, there's one. And then here's two. Now this key is completely off, so we don't worry about sucking up any of the line. Which is good. So his two knots are tied and he's clipping in. Grab our buoy. So I got a pull noodle. All right, so there's everything attached. We got the the, the buoy, the uh, extra retrieval line. We got the anchor and the bow line. So I'm just gonna toss that all overboard. Make sure we hold on to our retrieval line. And so we're starting to swing around now as we're getting. You know, more tension on the bow of the boat and less from the side here where I have the, the extra line in the footwell. All right, and you can see now the front end of the jet ski has pointed towards the anchor. We still got a little bit of slack in the lines here. That should straighten out here. We've kind of overcompensated the other way. But while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go ahead and attach our retrieval line here around the front of the jet ski. I may end up replacing that carabiner with, you know, probably don't even really need it. Maybe just tie a big loop here on this end. But yeah, there we go. We're anchored up. I can definitely feel it feels pretty solid. It doesn't feel like I'm moving in the current anymore. Still got that amount of line left in the footwell so i have to clean that up when i go to leave and my bag is totally soaked now too but yeah i'd call that a success all right so really not too bad pretty straightforward uh went just like we practiced um things seem to be holding up really well so we'll let christine try hers out you know make sure she gets some practice in and then we'll have to go for the retrieval all right guys, uh, I just launched my uh, anchor. It's not launched, I just dropped my anchor, weighed my anchor, whatever. Anyway, I'm anchored. Um, glad I did it now as opposed to next weekend. Um, I wanted to point out one thing though. Looking at the three lines that are in the water. So the first one here is the um, buoy, or that is, uh, this is the actual anchor, right? So this is the one that's attached to my ski. Um, this line right here is just the retrieval line. There's absolutely no tension in that. Um, and that is the one we have looped around our, uh, our uh, oh, animal bars here. This is attached with a uh, carabiner. And then the one you have here, that we see on, on the right here is um, the, um, the rest of the anchor line. So. Um, I think I've used, I think just over to 70 feet, so 70 feet that way is my anchor. Um, yeah. Yeah, so glad we're, we practice this now as opposed to just doing it live <laughs> next time. Uh, so now we have to retrieve these things. I think we're probably going to do it at least one more time just to make sure that we fully got it. Um, yeah, all in all, not bad. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you guys have any like recommendations on things we can do better, things that we can do different. Um, just be nice in the comment section, guys, because, you know, we're trying to figure out just like everybody else. So, um... Yeah. All right. So I guess we're now we're going to retrieve the anchors. Uh, yeah. I think this part probably freaks me out a little bit more, mainly because I don't want to get it wrong and start up line. Uh, but the other thing is, is um, Lewis had told me though that he would r rather lose the anchor than start up line and then the jet ski. So moral of the story: I was going to throw it overboard and just buy a new one later. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So it's been decided that Lewis is going to go first. Um, Say a prayer. This is the part that makes me most nervous, like I said before. Um, but hopefully, we'll be able to figure it out. Um, yeah, so good times. All right, so Lewis's GoPro is dead. So hopefully, you're gonna be able to hear everything that we're saying <laughs> between the two of us. Because, you know, great. Um, fun fact for whatever reason, uh, this has never been a problem until just right now. But for whatever reason, I keep all of the GoPro stuff on my ski. Um, so, even though we have two different GoPros. Well, what was right, first thing I want to do is I want to coil up what I've got. Yep. Sitting in my footwell. All right. So first thing he's doing is he's coiling up everything he's got in his footwell. Um, that way, that makes it a little bit easier when he's trying to get everything back in the bag. All right. So he's un unhooked his retrieval lines. That was that high, that bright green line that um, you guys saw on my ski. You guys can kind of see here. 
He's pulling himself towards uh, to what's his food right now. He's in the middle. We ordered uh, two of the, the shark <coughs> anchors, but um, the ones that he got were not great. He's got the pool noodle. He's going to pull himself towards that. He's rolling up his line right there. And the ski's off. The ski is not on, so neither of our skis are on right now. And he is grabbing the gooey. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see how he figures this out. Pull himself in some water. Kind of important too to make sure that you kind of keep it, try to keep your bow facing towards the anchor. Bow towards the anchor. Okay. He said it's important to keep your bow facing the anchor, so uh, that way you're able to pull yourself towards the anchor. Don't get turned around, he said. All right, so he is throwing the uh, buoy line and the um, like auxiliary line, kind of green line in the front. And so now there's uh, the only thing keeping him on that ski is himself. <laughs> It's very important that you get everything inside of the ski so you do not accidentally uh, suck up that line. Right, so here we go. Is this going to continue to the front of it? So, okay, we got a good point. Undo your knots, which is important. Alright, so just undo those knots. And he's not doing the second one now. Alright, so both of those knots are now undone. And he just. He just Everything undone, tucked away. Mm -hmm. Now I just got the anchor in my in the rope in my hand here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to drive up towards the anchor, but making sure I don't suck this up my impeller. Okay. All right, so now his ski is on. It's just uh, in forward. It's not going to be in gas. Just cruising forward. That's too fast. Oh, yeah. Okay. Apparently, says it's too fast. Okay. So maybe this is something that we do with the engine off. Yeah, all right, speaking of me and Arizona, she's gonna do this. This is gonna roll quick. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all right, so it's gonna get us. Yeah, all right, so we gotta get her real quick. Speaking of me and Arizona, she's gonna do this. So, I may not do that. You're all right, bro. It's too fast. I know. Yeah, so you're saying it's too fast. So, that's what I mean. I think we might just have to keep the skis off and, and reel it in by hand. Yeah. Alright, how much more line you got? Uh, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm down at ten feet. Alright, so he's down at ten basically feet. Right over top of it. Alright, so he's basically right over top of it, so he's got ten feet left. And he's just reeling it in real careful. Have you, have you felt the anchor kind of like dislodge itself yet? Huh? Have you felt the anchor dislodge itself yet? It's right there, yeah. It's doing it in there right now. Okay. 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 So he has the chain now. Alright. All done? Got it. Alright, good job, babe. Okay. All right. So Lewis is uh, wrapping his up now. Um, he's all done. So we're probably not going to film mine mainly because um, Lewis is definitely the better person on camera to do this than I am. So, um, but I will give you guys my thoughts um, when we're done, and we'll give, give you guys some pro tips too. So, uh, fingers crossed I don't lose the anchor, and fingers crossed that I don't suck up anything in my, my impeller. Lewis went to force me. So, all right. Let's go. Two thousand years later. Okay, right, guys. So we are back at the boat ramp um so i realized that my little armies are not nearly as long as this guy's so i am only going to be able to reset my equipment if we are on land 
I can't roll and drive and um, get everything back in the bag without needing some assistance. So all in all though, not bad. Um, didn't run over the line. That's so, the most important thing. Most important thing. Didn't Second lose, most important thing is didn't lose the anchor. Didn't lose the anchor, so I'm gonna call that a win. Um, so yeah, so Lewis tells me we have to go out to the Gulf and try this again. I will not be recording out there because uh, it's a little choppy out there and I don't wanna lose my phone or my GoPro. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, and so my general thoughts on everything, um, well, I don't think that we need the retrieval line. We, yeah. we granted, you know, it was only eight or nine feet deep mm -hmm. when we went, so we had a ton of line extra. Yeah. But I think even if we let out 130, 140 feet of line, mm -hmm. we still have plenty sitting in the footwell. Yeah, and to use um, that. On the anchor line to use that to retrieve it. Yeah. So I think the retrieval line was just one extra um, thing to take thing. care of. Yeah, right. And so I'm mixing that idea. Mm hmm. Also, to our buoys, we, we made them a bit longer because we weren't sure how long they need to be. Mm -hmm. They're too long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so we're going to choke up on the, up yeah, on the line. Time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, other than that, I think things went really well. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, so we're going to grab a quick snack and then we're going to head on out. Yeah. All right, let's go. close by the inlet here a lot calmer than it was earlier today um so we're all anchored up tied off and all that great stuff um lewis is currently using his sea scooter i'll show you guys him in a, him in a second um seemed to be a little less stressful this time for me uh putting the anchor down we'll see how i feel about um uh, pull it up so yeah should be good time and uh, there's Lewis. I don't know if you can see him out there, but oh, I'm sure you can see him, but I don't think you can see the sea, the sea scooter. Uh, we are only in about three feet of water here. You guys can probably see the bottom. Um, but he's, uh, he's scooting around, so he's uh, having a good time. So, you good, babe? Um, so I'm get him, get him zooming on by here in a second. Careful, you're going real fast. You might break a, uh, a record here. <laughs> Going too fast. <laughs> That's supposed to be. Oh, is it? All right, guys. So we just got tied up here at the sandbar, and we wanted to check out our sea scooters. Yep. So I can mention these are pretty cool. These are the Yamaha 500 LIs. Uh, basically, pull this out, start it up, and then you got one speed, two speeds, three speeds. Uh. And they kind of just drag you along at top speed about four miles an hour. Even at, even at full speed, it's not that fast. Yeah. But we got those because the battery lasts a bit longer. Yeah, they said so, it lasts about 90 minutes, but yeah. should, be, should come in handy when we go to the reef. Yeah. And then we got more distance to cover. Mm -hmm. So just got to check them out. But here we go. Whee! Full speed! <laughs> Don't drown yourself. Watch out for boats. And you are able to attach the GoPro to those. So uh, maybe we'll. Um, do that. Uh, hopefully we see something cool today. If not, uh, definitely make sure you guys subscribe because uh, we are going to Alligator Reef in the Keys next weekend. Um, and we're looking forward to uh, seeing all the cool things that we can see at uh, Alligator Reef. So yeah, should be a good time. Just saw a dolphin. I can catch it on the foot. On the, uh, on the... Bud. All right, guys, we made it back to the boat ramp. Uh, it's safe and sound, all in peace. Um, yeah, I had a really great day. Um, I did lose my hat though, uh, but don't worry, I, I found it, but it came off. So, um, but yeah, all in all, we had a really good time. Um, a little less nervous about the our belt, the keys trip, providing nothing crazy happens when we try to um, go there. So. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are subscribing and, and, uh, and sticking around because we have a lot of really cool content coming. Uh, I think all of our stuff's really cool. So, all right. Uh, yeah. Honey, how was your day? Did you have fun? I thought it was great. Great learning experience. I'm glad we got that taken care of. Yeah. I think you feel a little bit more confident Oops. about it. I know I do. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to that trip next weekend. Yeah. Trip of a lifetime. I mean, definitely Keys are one of the bucket list jet ski places. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think for it's sure. gonna be great. For sure. So uh, maybe we'll talk about um, more of why we picked going to this place later. Um, but we also found out some interesting facts about how hard it is to find a jet ski approved area in the Keys. So we'll talk about that on the next trip. Not easy. Not easy. So, all right, let's go. All right guys, so here's your pro tips for preparing for a jet ski excursion. I'd say number one is make sure you practice with all your new equipment. You wanna make sure it all fits on your jet ski, that nothing's gonna fall off, and that you know how to use it properly, and you're not gonna run over your anchor lines. Pro tip number two is if you do need an anchor, make sure you get a good quality one, one that has that PVC coating so that way you don't scratch up the side of your jet ski while you're unloading it and unloading it. And pro tip number three is if you do pack extra fuel, like I did, I got 10 extra gallons in the back there, Make sure that you uh, are very cautious of the different weight distributions. So now getting on and off the jet ski, I definitely have to be a little bit more cautious on how I place my feet and where I put my body weight in order to make sure that I don't sink one corner of the jet ski. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below what's your favorite jet ski excursion equipment. Is there anything else that we missed here? Is there anything else that you prefer that you can't live without? Let us know in the comments below. With that being said, we're out of here. So we'll see you next weekend. Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today, uh, well, I don't know where we are, but we're near Anna Marie Island. Yeah, but kind of holding is also like kind of, you know, kind of sinking. So excited about this, buddy. I know, I know the location on the ramp, but I always say like two things, generally and then specifically. <laughs> okay, good. know the general, all right. Um, I forget what they call them. Kind of anchor. Fluted anchor? Yeah, fluted, okay. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. Not attached anything right now? <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you I thought you had it attached. No, okay. I don't have it attached to the anchor. Oh my gosh! The beach. I thought you had it attached to the, to the stand anchor right there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> it's my gas. Oh my god! I'm, I'm murder is gonna happen today. All right, guys. So we got a big adventure. I don't like this. All I see is the is the thing in the background. All right, Just, so let's no, get that way. Okay. Or do you want to film with the jet skis in the background? Okay. I don't know. If this, I don't know if I can. I can't see myself on this thing anymore. Now that's a, a new, um, you filming? <laughs> no, I'm just sitting here with my phone like this, looking at you like you're gonna say something important. I don't think I was recording any of that. Did you hear that bird that is flew over? Oh my gosh.